Welcome to the cab familiarization video for the Komatsu WA900-8 wheel loader. The operator's cab on the new WA900-8 is a spacious work environment, providing comfort and functionality. The operator has high visibility to the job site and gets the job done efficiently. Let's get familiar with the features inside the operator's cab. Now that we are inside the cab, the first thing we want to do is buckle the seat belt. The adjustable air ride seat has many adjustments which allow the operator to position himself for comfortable actuation of the function control levers. The WA900-8 is equipped with the Advanced Joystick Steering, or AJSS. The AJSS lever is mounted on a left side and can be adjusted fore and aft for operator comfort. Mounted on the AJSS lever is the forward neutral reverse switch, the horn switch and the downshift upshift switches. Just in front of the AJSS stand and mounted to the floor is the steering lock lever. Swung to the left, the steering is locked. Swung to the right, the steering is unlocked. Let's take a look at the dash panel next. Starting on the left side, we have the engine shutdown secondary switch, hazard lamp switch, auto lube switch, and the monitor brightness selector switch. In the center are four dial type switches. From the left is the lamp switch for clearance lamps, tail lamps, and headlamps. Next is the front wiper and window washer switch, then the side wiper and window washer switch, followed by the rear wiper and window washer switch. The main monitor panel is centered in the dash. It includes a 7-inch color screen and round digital tachometer. We will share more details about the monitor in another lesson. On the right side of the dash, we will find the multi-switch panel, which controls machine monitor functions as well as the cab heating and cooling controls. Right above this switch panel is the parking brake switch. When this switch is in the up position, the parking brake is applied, while down is released. A lamp above the monitor will light when the parking brake is applied. Below the switch panel is the starting switch, which uses the machine key for activation. The starting switch has four distinct positions. The manual preheating position, the off position for stopping the engine and shutting down electrical devices, the on position, which activates electrical current flow through the charge circuit, lamp circuit, and communication circuit, and the position for the pre-lube system on the engine. Only when the pre-lube cycle is finished will you be able to crank and start the engine. To the right of the dash is the rear view monitor. The monitor can be programmed to always be on or only on when the machine is shifted into the reverse direction. This monitor includes a brightness adjustment switch that adjusts viewing for daylight or nighttime conditions. The right-hand control console is designed to move for the operator's seat when moved forward and aft. This console can be independently adjusted for ultimate comfort using the release handle located at the front. In addition, the right armrest is fully adjustable. The work equipment control levers are located at the front of the right-hand console. On the WA900-8, these levers work with electronic proportional control, or EPC technology. The rightmost lever controls the boom, while the left one controls the bucket. Integrated into the boom lever are two switches. The switch on top is the transmission kickdown switch, while the switch on the left side of the boom lever is the transmission hold switch. Integrated into the bucket lever are two more switches. The switch on the top is the load meter switch, while the switch on the left of the bucket lever is the semi-auto dump start switch. Looking to the right of the control levers, you will find an important switch. This red switch is the work equipment lock switch with a locking tab. This switch is a single position momentary contact style switch. It cannot be cycled without first pulling the locking tab towards the rear of the machine. If the work equipment is left unlocked and the engine is shut down, the work equipment is automatically locked. The right switch console on the WA900-8 has seven positions. Starting from the front edge, we have the driving force control dial, which adjusts the driving force or tractive effort when the machine travels forward in the first gear speed. The next switch is the auto dig and enable switch. Then comes the semi-auto dump enable switch with semi-auto approach enable switch. Next comes the remote positioner switch, followed by the transmission shift mode selector. Then comes electronic control suspension, or ECSS switch. Finally, the last switch is the RPM set switch. At the front of the right armrest is a turn signal switch, which activates the right or left turn signals, since the machine does not have a steering column. This Komatsu large size wheel loader has a standard accelerator pedal mounted on the right side of the cab floor. Immediately to the left is the right brake pedal, and on the left side is the left brake pedal. The left brake pedal combines the action of the modulation clutch to decrease the driving force as well as applying the service brakes. The WA900-8 also has a far right console mounted to the cab floor, 
This console carries a drink holder, an ashtray, two 12 volt power outlets, and an auxiliary input jack for music. In the lower front part of the console are fuses, plus the secondary park and brake release switch and the modulation clutch engagement switch. Turning our attention to the right overhead console, there are many more features mounted here. Starting at the front edge is the rear glass defroster switch, followed by the radio, and then the working lamp rotary selector switch. Next is the revolving beacon switch, followed by the staircase lighting switch. To the underside of the right overhead console is the spot lamp with its on-off switch. Mounted in the cab ceiling are two overhead light fixtures. At the cab front and in the center is the LED room lamp. It has its own on and off switch. In the ceiling to the left side is the LED room lamp. It also has its own on and off switch. This concludes the cab familiarization video for the Komatsu WA900-8. For more information, please reference the Operation and Maintenance Manual or contact your local distributor. You may also visit us at www.komatsuamerica.com. Thank you for choosing Komatsu products.